Alrighty. Boys. The Horde Transmog competition. It's been a while. It's been some time. I swear to God, if I come in here and I see a bunch of stupid ass sets, I'm going to be upset. Um, I want you to match your character with the ground down there, okay? Not you, idiot! Do it. That's what you get for trying to match with a full set. Okay. High Ward Prince Seal. Look, even without the Nazoth come covering you, you still look like a fucking idiot. So you're using the Artifact Weapon Holy Weapon, obviously. Uh, the helmet right there from uh, Tomb of Sargeras. The shoulders from Normal Mode Siege of Orgrimmar, the Paladin set. The chest piece there from uh, Tomb of Sargeras as well, that's the normal set. Leggings right there from the Paladin Class Order Hall set. Gloves and also the boots there from the Mythic Emerald Nightmare Paladin offset gear. And then the cloak there, which is the Legendary Cloak from Mr. Pandaria for tanks. So you know what this set is? It's a fucking joke. That's what it is. This set's a fucking joke. There's nothing good about your set. This is why I have a quota on Blood Elves, because 95% of the Blood Elves that I invite are fucking terrible. And guess what? You are the 99%. Good job, Prince Seal. You're terrible. Next. Is this a joke? This is even worse. Uh, th this is even worse. Like, I... What the fuck is this? I, I don't even know what to say, man. Like, I think this is terrible. Like, this is horde... See, this is why I, I always say that I'll random invite people, and then whenever I do, I get the people that queue up like, Oh, you know what? It's 400th. I'm gonna queue up. Like, usually if I queue, if I invite the first, like, 40 people, we have much better here. Okay, this is the hammer from the Twilight, uh, uh from Cho'Gall. The helmet right there is, I think, a PvP helmet. I think the, the shoulders there are from the Cataclysm set, or some of the Cataclysm PvP sets. And pretty much that's all he's wearing, besides the belt that's from the same set that the shoulders are from. And then the weapon here, I forgot which weapon this is from. It's one of the WAD weapons, I'm pretty sure. Harem's Frozen Crescent. That one is from uh, Siege of Orgrimmar, uh, Dark Shaman. And I think because it's purple, it's uh, the mythic one. But I'm not really 100% sure about that. Regardless, this is a terrible set. And Prince Seal, you actually look better than this, okay? If you guys were the only two people in the competition, somehow you'd both still lose. But if I had to say who would lose first, it would be probably the Warc. Good job, Pepper Breath. Better luck next time. Oh, great. Oh, great. Now we have a BDSM... Uh, uh, a BDSM Blood Elf. This is amazing. We love to see this, guys. Um, look at this. So you've got, obviously, the weapons right there from, I believe, somewhere in uh, Warlords of Draenor. And, and, like, this guy just looks like he's a fuck... He looks like he's a... He's a male hooker from Tanan Jungle. Like, that's what this is. What's this dude's name? Uh, Demonic Metal. And he spelled metal wrong. The Bloodthirsty from the Guild Lost Raiders. I, I mean, this is, yeah. Like, Gachi Tarzan. I, I, I don't know what to say about this, man. But I do know one thing to say. It's not good. Like, it, it's better than the other two, okay? So I don't want to, I don't want to be too mean to this guy. So it is better than the other two that we've seen before. But is that really a compliment? Is that really a compliment? No, not really. So I'm just going to say that this set sucks, and we're going to move on. What is this? What are you guys, bosses in a, in a five-man dungeon for level 20s? What the fuck is this stupid-ass shit? Did you, come, did, you, did you two idiots come in here together? Did you guys, did, did, is, this, is this like a joke you're playing on me here? You're using the Ice Bane items from the, the Frost Resist gear. I mean, that's kind of cute. The weapons right there are... Get the fuck... Get away from her, dude. What the fuck's wrong... What the fuck is going on? Don't you do it. Don't you do it, Lethos. Don't you even think about it. 
All right, all right. Listen. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, no! All right. Listen. The set does look pretty good. I would say the blue... Uh, I would say the blue does look... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice try, guys. Uh, the weapons are obviously blacksmithing weapons from back in uh, in Burning Crusade. Uh, I think actually it's Vanilla WoW. Yeah, Vanilla WoW. A lot of the other pieces just come from random BC and uh, Vanilla WoW items. Not really too particularly impressive, but the colors do match, which is better than, you know, some of the other pieces as well, or the other people as well. So we did okay here. All right, now let's look at this guy. Lethos. So we've got ourselves a rogue here with the Brawler's Harness, or sorry, the Orgrimmar Harness that every single other character wants to use if they want to tell everybody else that they're not really completely certain about their sexuality, or maybe they're too certain about their sexuality. And listen, like the set does look good, but the Brawler's Harness is too high res. Like you have to go with something else that's, uh, that's lower res because everything else that you're wearing comes out of 2004 and the Brawler's Harness is 2015 or so. So it just looks way, way higher res than everything else. And because it's so much higher res, it makes the other stuff look worse in comparison because it's right next to it. So I understand what you're trying to do. You're trying to be a very, very well geared level 13 combat rogue. But you're not a very, very well dressed, well dressed level 13 combat. Yeah, be mad all you want. That's what you get, man. Talk all your shit. Talk all your shit, dude. Thank God. Thank God. I'm so happy. Thank God. We actually have a good one. All right. Now, this is what we're looking at, boys. This is what we're here for. This is what it's about, okay? We've got Shredder right here. Now, I don't know about the gloves. So, obviously, what he's got going on here is two different sets of the Chosen Dead armor. So, Chosen Dead from Tumasar... Sorry. Uh, Trial of Hour. He's got the belt of the Chosen Dead and also the boots of the Chosen Dead. And then he also has the... I think that's boots of Chosen Dead. And then he has the gloves of the Chosen Dead, but it's a different model. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I could be wrong about that. But regardless, Doom Guy? Dragon Slayer Brad. Wait, who's Doom Guy? Who the fuck is Doom Guy? Let me see. Uh. Um. That is, that is not that bad. I mean, like, it's not that good either. But, I mean, for a WoW transmog, he's doing what he can. And at the end of the day, that's really what matters. Obviously, sometimes you can't really match things perfectly. But I do like the set that you're using. Obviously, I think that's a Cataclysm helmet and shoulder PvP set. I think it's Ruthless Glad. Could be Vicious. I forgot really which one. Vicious Gladiator helmet there. Uh, I really, really like this set a lot. And so I'm glad that he's using something that's a little bit more unique. Uh, obviously, the weapon right there is Kalimdor's Revenge, which comes from the uh, uh, the fucking the Twin Emperors in AQ40. I like that as well. And um, all the rest of the pieces fit together pretty well. So you know what, Brad? This is actually pretty good. Good job, Brad. Proud of you. Bog done. So... Bog done the goat fucker. All right. All right, I like this. This is a good this is a good set. So what I really really like about the set is he's got the eye right there. He's got the eyes right on his shoulders. He's also got the eye on his weapon there. Now, is this a set though? Or did he actually put this together on his own? Like so it's Frostwolf clan. Like yeah, did he put this together on his own? Uh, this is insane if he did. Uh, Nylotha said, yeah, this is really fucking good. Like, I, I don't even know where some of these pieces come from. So that's a Nylotha item, Nylotha belt, Nylotha gloves, matching it with the Frostwolf gear that you get from, I believe, Warlords or Draenor. This is really fucking nice, man. Like, Bog done the goat fucker, it, liberating all the goats. Well, I, I don't know about that. It depends on how you look at it. But liberating Orgamar too. This is actually pretty fucking nice. Heritage armor? Yeah, I know he's also got the... Oh, is it heritage? Oh, I guess it might be heritage armor. Well, regardless, it does look great. This set looks fucking great. 
everything fits together with it and it's not a full set but it looks like it which is probably the best compliment that i can give people uh literally just have the heritage armor and uh Nihilotha stuff yeah i know that but it's the best one that we've seen so far and obviously we're always making decisions based off of what the options and the alternatives are and right now we don't have a lot of good alternatives see this guy's already rethinking his life so let's go this is great bogdan the goat fucker i'm proud of you You know what this is? This is a man who doesn't know when to quit. There's too much going on with this set, man. There's just too much going on. Like, you've got the, the belt right there. I think that belt comes from the uh, Tumor Sargeras, uh, Tumor Sargeras Hunter set. The boots are the Chosen Dead boots that come from Trial of Hours. Same with the gloves. Those shoulders right there are, I believe, from Dragon Soul. The helmet there comes from the first tier of, uh, of, fucking what is it called uh of legion the helmet is obviously the doom hammer artifact appearance and the chest piece there i think is one of the uh legion green or blue items i believe uh so this is an okay looking set but i do think that it's just way over designed and you have too many themes going on simultaneously for it actually to be a good set if you look at bogdan the goat fucker over there he has one clean obvious clear set you it's like you've got this fucking broken light bulb in your right hand. You've got this stupid hammer in your left hand. You've got the skull on your belt, the weird spikes on your boots. It's like you basically took every idea that you had and you did every single one of them simultaneously. And I don't like that. You have to be more, more gradual with like your, your approach and just go with one theme and fully realize that one theme rather than trying to do three or four different themes simultaneously. It's a good attempt though. We was Maghar. No, you weren't. You're green. Okay, so he's obviously using Shadowmorn right there. Those boots there come from, I believe, uh, Warlords of Draenor. Those leggings there are from the, uh, I think, Hellfire Citadel Death Knight set. The chest piece comes from uh, Pit of Sauron. It's a chest piece that drops from, I believe, the second boss. The shoulders there are Cataclysm uh, questing shoulders. Those gloves there come from uh, Naxxramas Ten Men, and you can also buy them from the class vendor. The belt comes from B-Sword Darmac. No, not B-Sword Darmac, excuse me. Um, Brackenspore in Highmall. Wait, no. I know it's the DK. It doesn't matter. Okay, I'm not going to try to go through it. Uh, it's the DK belt. It's the heroic DK belt, mythic DK belt from Warlords of Draenor first tier. Okay? Yeah, uh, I was wrong about that. Uh, but yeah, all the rest of the pieces do look really, really good. I don't know. What do you guys think about this? Hollow head? Well, yeah, obviously. Um, heroic or mythic? Well, it depends because was it mythic back then? Oh yeah, yeah, it was. I don't know. It's always confusing me. This is okay. I feel like this is certainly better than a lot of the sets that we've already seen. But the truth is that like the best part about this, in my opinion, is probably the shoulders, the belt, and the weapon. Uh, all the rest of it is a little bit lower coloration, and I'm not really sure if it works that well. The chest piece I'm on the fence about, and the worst piece about this set is obviously the boots, okay? The boots just looks like some nasty-ass fucking garbage, and everything else besides that could probably fit together a little bit more if you had a better pair of boots. But everything else besides that is okay. Yeah, it's alright. Not that bad. Sinon of the Nightfall. Isn't this a full set? Is this a full set? It's not, is it? Um, it is. Why'd you come in here with a full set, man? It's a horde-only set, so I wasn't 100% sure. Why'd you come in here with a full set? What'd you do that for? Why are you doing it with a full set, man? Matches the weapon? Do you want to match your placing with last place? Like... Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. 
Um, I want you to match your character with the ground down there, okay? It's okay, you'll be fine. Because you, you care a lot about matching. Not you, idiot! Do it. Do it. That's what you get for trying to match with a full set. Embarrassing. Come back next time with something better. Holy shit! Holy shit! What the fuck? The Fell Steel Great Helm. Well, actually, I could have also tried to do a Space Marine. Well, it worked. Holy fuck! This is good. That's the Relentless Gladiator's Great Sword with the glorious, uh, what's that? It's not glorious tyranny. I believe that's demonic tyranny that comes from a 2400 enchant that came from Legion. The shoulders right there come from, uh, that is the five, sorry, the 10 man version of the Paladin Offset Shoulders that came from ICC. The chest piece there is the, uh, warrior chest piece. And also, I think the leggings too. I'm not, I don't even percent sure on that. The leggings and the chest come from the fucking, uh, Nighthold set. The helmet is a fell steel great helm that comes from, or it could also be the, uh, Legion helmet, the legendary helmet, comes from, uh, Void Reaver. And then the gloves and the boots there come from the Benthic armor in 8.2. And the belt is from Heroic Ilganoth, which is the DK offset belt. Holy shit! And this is a Chaos Space Marine. I like it. I actually like this a lot. Belt doesn't match. Oh, let me let me move back a little bit. This looks really fucking good. It, it, in my opinion, I think this is one of the best looking sets we've seen so far. Like this is probably the best set I've seen so far. I like this set a lot. This is insane, dude. Uh, the weapon doesn't work. It's hard to find a good weapon, but like what he's using right now is not awful. But you're right that I think the weapon is probably the weakest link. Uh, the belt could be better. But regardless, I think this is an extremely strong Chaos Space Marine set. Probably the best one that I've ever seen. So good job. I thought the weapon like a saw blade. Yeah, I mean, I, I could see what you're trying to do. I mean, at least you're trying. And I think that's really what matters a lot. So yeah, I really, really like this, man. Um, yeah, yeah, this is fucking great. What do you guys think? You guys like this one, right? Like, I, I think this is one of the best ones that we've seen so far. Personally, I think it's one of the best ones we've seen so far. Yes? Okay, good. I agree. Good job, Chromag. Fuck you. Fuck you for having those shoulders. How the fuck are you gonna wear those shoulders? Like, fuck you. Like, why do you even have them? Like, why do you even have- why- Why, how can this dude have these shoulders? Like, I don't have the shoulders. That's pissing me off. Alright, let's look at the rest of the pieces he's got going on there. Okay, so those are obviously the shoulders from Zaquil. Right, yeah, those are obviously shorts from the quill. Uh, the gloves and the boots right there are from the normal mode and Taurus, and also the belt right there, normal mode and Taurus DK set. The weapon is, of course, Armageddon from 25 Man Naxxramas from the Four Horsemen. Uh, the tabard there is the tabard of the Argent Crusade. It could also be the tabard of the Protector, depending on what he has. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, those leggings there come from Lords of Draenor, and I'm gonna be honest. This is incredible. This is a great looking set. I, I really like this. Like, this is actually really good. Like, as much as I, as much as I don't like it, uh, I don't like the fact that he has the shoulders, I actually think this is really good. Like, I really like how the shoulders match with the gloves, and they're very unique shoulders, and I'm I impressed the fact that he's able to find the match. Wait, you guys don't like this? Wait, why don't you like this set? Um, Tabard? Yeah. Actually, that's a good point. The Tabard and the legs are not really that great. The weapon is also a little bit more mediocre, but I'm okay with the weapon. But really, the Tabard has, uh, the Tabard has to go, man. Uh, even though it's from back in the day, it's like old school, everything like that. Flying serpent dick. Um, anyway, all the rest of these, uh, I think does look okay. You know, Tabard is low res. Yeah, let me see which one it is. Is it Tabard of the Protector? Tabard of the Argent Dawn. Okay, not really quite Tabard of the Protector. Okay, I feel you. Love the Bard, though. That's all right. You did okay. Is this a joke? Absolute orc. Friends with benefits. You know what their benefit of being friends with you is? They'll always know that they have one friend 
that's worse at transmog than they are. And here you are. Do you know what the funny thing about this is? Do you know why he doesn't have the belt? Is because he probably can't afford it. The belt is a BOE item that sells for a lot of money. And so he can't afford the belt. So he thought that he would come in here with the normal mode old deer belt and think I wouldn't notice that. So not only is this poor fashion sense, but this, this player himself is poor. This is embarrassing. Absolute orc. This is an absolute joke. And you think your Dawnbreakers with Void Edge Enchant on them is really going to make a difference? Not a chance. This is a dick-sucking transmog. You know why it's a dick-sucking transmog? Because it sucks dick. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hail Satan, Archmage Yavirdia. This is really good. So the helmet right there is from the, uh, is that? Let me see what the what that model is. That is, I believe, the PvP Cruel Gladiator helmet for uh, mages. Those shoulders right there come from the tier uh, 8 shoulders for mages in Olduar, I think. The gloves there are the Chronomancer gloves that drop from, I believe, Antorus for mages, but I could be wrong about that. The belt is from Challenge Mode Gold in Mists of Pandaria. Obviously, the weapon right there is the uh, the arcane. I, I forgot which one. It's one of the artifact weapons. This is really, really, really fucking nice. No, it's not. Wait, yeah, it is. Wait, what? Wait, really? I thought it was part of the elemental triad set. Am I wrong about this? Let me see. Where's my Atlas loot? No way I'm wrong. He says Hellfire Citadel? What? What, dude? That's crazy. I had no... Wait, what? Oh, my God. Blackrock Fountain. Yeah, I feel like it must be... Let me, let me show you guys why I thought that. Just give me one second. Um, dungeon sets. Oh, it doesn't even show it. Yeah, it does. Challenge mode gear. Mage. God, I got baited, dude. I got fucking baited, dude. Look at the belt. It's the same colors, but it doesn't have the eye. Oh. God, that's so fucking embarrassing, dude. I cannot believe it. I cannot fucking believe I got that wrong. What a joke. Yavendria? I actually think this is really nice. I think the set matches together very well. And all of the pieces fit together very well. Is there anybody that disagrees with that? Like, is it a real girl? Uh, about 60% chance it's a real girl. I think this is an actually really, really nice looking set. Good job, Yavendria. Uh, I'm proud of you. It works well. Yeah, I can't believe I got the fucking belt wrong, man. I feel like a fucking idiot. Siege Rar, the insane. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. What do you guys think? So that's the store helmet, the shoulders and the gloves, and also I think, no, not really the boots. Uh, uh, the shoulders and the gloves from the Heroic ICC 25 man set, the chest piece and the legs from the Heroic uh, Tier 11 D uh, Warrior set, the Earthen set, and then the boot and the belt from the Garrison set uh, for the uh, the Blackrock set. And then obviously the weapon right there, it comes from Mythic Blast Furnace and BRF. Um, It does look really cool. Okay, like, let's just get that out of the way. <laughs> Stop showing off, okay? Just let us look at you. Stop showing off. Uh, it looks okay. Uh, but he's touring? Well, regardless, I think it looks great. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it does look pretty good. The only problem is that it is a store helmet. And I've had a few sets that are store sets, too. So, I, I use the, uh, the fucking blue helmet. So, I understand a little bit where he's coming from. I get it. 
But at the same time, I don't really know if I want to give a win to this. Regardless though, I think this does look badass. It's ominous, it's large, it's dangerous, it's imposing. He's basically the closest thing you can get to a Balrog without actually being a Balrog, okay? And that's pretty good. So you know what? Siege Rar, you did okay. Good job. Regardless of store or not, the helmet looks stupid. The only problem with the helmet is it doesn't fit on, fit on Torin very well. But regardless, it does look good. Kill the king? Holy shit. Are those the Blood Fang gloves? Those are the Blood... Wait, that's... Is that Night Slayer? Night Slayer or Blood Fang? Wait, gloves of Artful Dodging? What the fuck is that? Gloves of Artful Dodging? Where the fuck do those come from? Rogue Class Hall? What the fuck? Legion Class Hall? Holy shit! Okay, well, regardless, the weapon right there is obviously the Outlaw. Uh, that is the Outlaw... Um, that is the challenge appearance for the Mage Tower. And then all the leggings, the boots, and also the belt right there is the Antorus set. I don't know if that's a PvP or actually the Antorus set. Same with the chest piece there. And the helmet there, I think, obviously comes from, like, some fucking Kul area. I forgot which one specifically. The weapons are bad? I think this is fucking insane. This is really, really good. Not the boots. Let me see. Uh, yeah, I guess maybe the boots aren't either. 31 month sub. Okay, well, you're winning for sure, then. That is... Re this is just really fucking nice. Like, that's honestly all it comes down to. Like, this is just really, really, really fucking nice. Uh, is, is there anybody, uh, anybody that disagrees? Like, this is exactly what I would expect to see an undead pirate look like. Like, a female undead pirate. This is a really, really, really nice set. Like, and also, it gets bonus points. I didn't know where those fucking gloves were from. Like, I, I don't know why. Like, I straight up thought those were fucking Blood Fang for a second. Because, I, I guess because they were just so low res, I assumed they were. But I was wrong. This is a really, really nice set, dude. Good fucking job. Great job. Penny the Argent Champion. Now. She's either wearing an apron or she doesn't have a guild tabard on. Now. Because we're on Twitch, and the year is 2020, we're gonna go with the Guild Tabard. But the leggings. The leggings. What leggings are these? These were the leggings that were removed from the game right before Wrath of the Lich King came out during the Burning Crusade pre-expansion event for the Scourge. They are the blessed leggings of undead slang. It's a PvP chess piece? Well, that makes sense because PvPers never actually find their way in the guilds. This is fucking amazing. I, I am really, really impressed by this. And I think those weapons right there come from Battle of the Tsar War. I'm not 100% sure about that. There isn't much I can pair with these legs. Well, it doesn't matter if you're pairing them with the legs or not. They look really, really fucking good. Uh, Bloodtooth, the Soul Feaster. Yeah, I have no fucking idea where those are from. Uh, but regardless, I don't really- I haven't paid a lot of attention to Ward Waves, honestly. But the leggings there look fucking amazing. Uh, yeah, I have PvP guilds. It's a joke, man. Relax. Um, so anyway, like, listen. I think this does look really good, but I do feel like the not having a chess piece, I don't know, what do you guys think? Battle of Zar War Mythic? Okay, yeah, I thought so, for the weapons. Okay, I, I was, I thought so, I wasn't 100% sure. This looks like a reskin of Paladin, two Paladin vanilla sets? I don't know about that. It looks good, it's low effort. Yeah, I do think the chess piece looks really, really plain, okay? Um... But, uh, the leggings are very impressive that he has those. Uh, I'm assuming it's a he. And, um, regardless, I think this does look okay. Uh, I think the belt matches very well with the legs as well. Uh, which is a huge improvement, too. Hmm. Priest tier 2 chest? It's not priest tier 2 chest. This is just disgusting. Fucking filthy. I hate this shit. What, you know what this guy looks like? He looks like a level 19 twink. 
and there's nothing that I hate more than fucking people that I, I just, I'm just so sick of the, I, I've never liked twinking, I've never liked it, I think it's fucking stupid, and I see those goggles, and they trigger me. They do. And that weapon right there, that weapon is, uh, fuck, which one is that from? That's from Shaw of Fear. And, uh, based off of the coloration, I think that's the LFR version, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I think that's a Shaw of Fear sword, and this dagger right here is from Heart of Fear, I think. All the rest of the pieces, I don't give a fuck where they're from, because I don't farm Burning Crusade and Vanilla Wild Dungeons, okay? Look at these stupid-ass boots. Like it's Christmas or some shit. Like it's Christmas or some shit. Look at these stupid-ass fucking boots. Can you believe that? What a joke. But he's wearing this fucking, like, what, what are you, an elf? Wait, actually, yeah, he is an elf. Never mind. Okay. All right, never mind. Um, set's fucking stupid. The boots are dumb as hell. You're wearing a... Yeah, actually, he is he is an elf. I forgot about that. But uh, everything else, I, I think, is, like, okay, I guess. But it's not really my kind of a set. Yeah, this guy's Santa's little helper, if you know what I mean. Uh, good job, man. Great job. Honeygill? The gullible. Hmm. Hmm. First time I played WoW, I made a Blood Elf lock on a private server. I started playing retail, I had to do it. I didn't really know Blood Elves were, so hated. Uh, first noob transmog loves Asmo. Well, Blood Elves are hated because of this guy. Okay? This is why they hate Blood Elves. Not because of you. This set's alright. Uh, I, I feel like this looks okay. He looks like an NPC. Yeah, it's like this is an NPC that you'd see in like a Warlock hall. Uh, I feel like all the pieces match together really well. I think the gloves are from Herlock Firelands. Some of these other pieces, I don't even really know where they're from specifically. I think it's some somewhere in uh, in Legion, but I could be wrong. But I, I don't really know. I don't keep track of a lot of cloth gear, to be completely honest. It looks like Gay Medivh. He doesn't look like Gay Medivh. He does not look like Gay Medivh. He looks all right, though. Uh, I, I do like the set in general. Uh, all things considered, he looks pretty good. Uh, the offhand is a little bit weird. I don't even know what the hell that is. Let's see. Check the pet. Okay, where's the pet? Which prime? Okay. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, Honeygill. He's doing his best, all right? I think this does look pretty decent, all right? All things considered, Honey's Transmog does look pretty decent. And, you know, pretty decent. It's pretty good. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. As I said, I'm not going to ask for subs until I fucking get... Uh, I, I get a, a month into streaming, okay, guys? I feel better about that. Tank? Okay. All right, let me go over here. Putris the Kingslayer. Hmm. Ah! Uh... Ah! Uh... I mean, like, all right, so obviously the helmet's the tier 8 helmet for warlocks, and then Putris is the name of the, he's the name of the warlock that attacked during the, uh, Wrathgate cinematic. He's the reason, Putris, whatever you guys think about it, Putris is the reason why we have Shadowlands. Because back then, he was the one that caused all that bullshit to happen, and he got Bolvar killed. So think about that. No, it's not Putricide, he's a boss in, in uh, in ICC. The staff is from the uh, the movie event. They had like a promotion event. If you logged on during the movie of War of Warlords of Draenor, I sp War of Draenor, uh, the movie for the, uh, the fucking I don't know the Warcraft movie. And uh, the belt right there comes from the class order hall for warlocks. The shoulders there are from Mythic Blackrock Foundry. And um, I, I don't know, man. Like I feel like this is a pretty nice looking set overall. Um, I don't know if I really think it's a winner, but I do like it a lot, especially for like the uh, the undead warlock aesthetic. I feel like undead warlock is a very, very specific and unique aesthetic. There'd just be another Witch King without Bolvar, like Tyrion? Yeah, but Tyrion, Tyrion would have beat Sylvanas' ass, dude. Like, what are you talking about? Like, Tyrion? Like, Bolvar? Bolvar got killed by a debuff. He got killed by a debuff, man. I guess Tyrion died to a fucking trash mob. Or not even an in-boss. But, like, listen, yeah, Tyrion died to a leech mob. Yeah. Yeah, but that's different, though. I mean, like, Tyrion, listen, dude, Tyrion shattered Frostmourne. It, it would be fine, okay? Regardless, Putris set, this matches very well. I like it a lot. Good fucking job. What the fuck is this? Dura Charge, the savage hero from the guild Dreadward. You know what this is like? 
<laughs> Listen to a stupid fucking song. You know what this is like? This is like whenever you have... You have a smart friend. And you copy their homework. From math class. And you intentionally get a few of them wrong. But you can't even get them convincingly wrong. Because you're so far gone. And you don't even understand the set. Or sorry, not the set. I'll explain that in a minute. You don't even understand algebra well enough to even convincingly get them wrong. That's what you did with your chess piece and your gloves. This is the Maghar Heritage Armor set. You just randomly put the chess piece and gloves on to make it seem like you weren't using a full set. But you are. We know you're using a full set. It's obvious. Better luck next time. And the weapons obviously are the Season 3 uh, also honor-bound pieces. Yeah, I think the legs are or something like that. But regardless, it's not really that uh, shoulders are not in the set. Yeah, the helmet, the belt, and the uh, and the boots. I see the helmet. Actually, yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah, I mean, I guess it is just like, yeah, I think the honor-bound set is the shoulders and the boots. And the helmet and the gloves, or sorry, the helmet and the belt are from the Maghar Heritage set. So, it's not a full set? Yeah, it's not, actually, now that I'm looking at it again. Because, like, the Maghar one was a different pair of shoulders. I don't know, like, I just feel like the chainmail underneath doesn't really fit very well. Yeah, uh, it's three different sets, never mind. A and then the leggings there, what leggings are these? Siege of Orgamar, DK, Mythic Legs, I believe. I could be wrong about that, though. Regardless, I, I think this does look decent, okay? I have him stand next to Goatfucker, but the weapons are a big problem, okay? The weapons, I'm not really say sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, it's not as bad as, it th as I originally thought it was. The weapons are pretty low res. I mean, these come all the way back from Burning Crusade. This was the Season 3 gloves. Uh, sorry, not gloves. Why do I- I'm, I'm fucking super verbally dyslexic today. I don't know what it is with me. Some days I have, uh, I, I just have days like this, you know what I mean? Where I just can't speak clearly. Regardless, um, it could be better. It could be worse. Uh, I said never to say sorry. Well, it, it not you never apologize to the public. You can apologize to an individual and it's okay. Never apologize to the public because they'll never forgive you. Mm. This is actually not that bad. But I really just don't think the chess piece and the gloves fit very well. Yeah, it's just not really that great. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, let's look at the next one. All right. Dragon Slayer Lies. Um. Hmm. Artifact weapon. Helmet right there from, uh, I believe that's the Throne of Thunder. Uh, Hunter set. Shoulders there from the first tier of, uh, of Legion for Hunters. Let's see. The tabard is obviously just like one of the fucking, uh, the Horde tabards. What do you guys think about this? Marksmanship with pet. Yeah, that's a little bit of a false advertising. And look, he's got the big boy, and then he's got the little boy right there. He's got smog and parched lizard. This is, uh, you know what? I feel like this set is just mediocre. I'm being too nice to these guys. Uh, like, there are plenty of sets that don't really have anything glaringly wrong with them, but that doesn't mean that they have anything glaringly right with them either. This is just an okay-looking set. The boots look like dog shit. They don't match at all. You've got those ugly-ass, disgusting, non-clipped toes sticking out. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. You've got the weird, uh, the weird pair of boots. And I don't know, man. There is no boots. Hey, 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 hey. Who's doing it? Who's doing it? Get him the fuck out of here. Just a minute. I'm figuring out who it is. Okay, I don't even know who the hell it is. Regardless, this is an okay-looking set, but I don't really think it's a winner, alright? That's what it comes down to. It's an okay-looking set, but I don't really think it's a winner. Pervy. Okay, I already like your name. Okay. Oh. Wow. Okay, so these weapons right here, the left one, or sorry, yeah, the right one. Uh, the blue one is from LFR, and the red one is from Mythic. These are both swords that drop from Amber Shaper and Heart of Fear. Uh, let's see. The the gloves right there are from Antorus. The shoulders are from, I think, somewhere in, in Legion, or I don't even fucking know where the shoulders are from. I have no idea. Regardless, 
I don't know. I think that the uh, the differently colored weapons that match with like the red and blue uh, gloves. It's monk PvP set. Yeah, I need to actually look and like try to memorize some of these sets. Like a lot of the monk sets, Mr. Pandaria Gladiator armor. Okay, I see. Yeah, I, I don't know, guys. Like I feel like this is it's okay, but it's not really that good. It's not that good. What do you guys think? Shoulders sucks? Yeah, I think the shoulders are definitely the weak point here. Because, like, all the rest of your pieces are very, very vibrant. Except for your shoulders. Because your shoulders don't really share the same level of, like, vibrantness. Because, like, the gloves... Or, sorry, yeah, the gloves and the weapons. These are, like, super, super flashy. And, yeah, I like the little tigers that come out from the thing. And what is this? I guess Prideful Gladiator? Let me see here. Prideful Gladiator? Yeah, Grievous Gladiator. Okay, Prideful and Grievous are basically the exact same thing. Uh, regardless, I think that it does look okay. Uh, Tigers, Papega. Wait, are they not Tigers? Are they not? The toes sticking out fucking sucks. Yeah, I, I don't really like a lot of troll trans. It's dragons. Okay. All right, regardless. Uh, it could be better. I think this one just looks okay. Yeah, I'm not really used to looking at Horde transmog, so I'll, I'll get a lot of these wrong sometimes. Make the regular troll and Zendoy troll stand by side. I don't want to deal with that right now, but uh, I do think this looks okay. I think that the best part about this set is like the helmet, the gloves, and the weapons. I really like the different colored weapons. I think that's a really, really good touch. Everything else is kind of mediocre. Yeah, okay, those are not tigers. Those are dragons. I see that now. Okay, let's go ahead and move forward. Throne of Senjin. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Battle of the Czar Lord chest piece there, or the legs, I believe. Uh, shoulders right there from uh, Tuma Sargeras, the helmet from uh, Antorus, and the weapon there comes from, uh, weapon is from Waycrest Manor. Uh, that's from the last boss. I think this actually looks good. Like, straight up, this actually looks good. Now, the belt doesn't really match at all, and I think the, really the problem is the gloves. The problem is the fucking gloves. I hate the fucking gloves. Besides that, everything else is okay. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the gloves, though. I think that they just don't really fit with the uh, the purple coloration. Gloves of the Undying Pact, I need these. Let me see what they look like. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, those would look a lot better. Holy shit. Yeah, those are a lot better. From Restless K-Ball. Okay. I don't know if this is a winner or anything, but I do think this set looks pretty good. It's almost like, what I like about it is it's kind of like a, uh, like a bone druid. I like people that take like the theme of a druid and then they try to change it into something that's a little bit similar, but not really quite exactly the same thing. So I do really like what you've done with this. And I think that the pieces fit together pretty well. And I like it a lot. What do you guys think? I'd say this is like a solid, a solid eight. This is a solid eight. Change the gloves, get a better belt, and you're going to go all the way up to like a nine. What do you guys think? A bone druid, so necromancer? No, not really. I mean, necromancers raise the dead. Uh, I feel like it's... I don't know, there's like more of a spectrum of it, at least in my mind. But regardless, um... Bow? What about the bow? That's not a bow. That's a polearm. Yeah, Blight Reaper is a polearm. Blight Reaper drops from Torak Ghoul in uh, Waycrest Manor. No, I meant bow. Okay, all right, let's go to the next person. Uh, Duffer the Undying. I have, oh, slash, oh, bow. Okay. Okay. Now I get it. All right, never mind. I was so fucking confused. Uh, I was thinking about, like, a bow that you shoot. I was so fucking confused. Anyway, uh, Duffer the Undying helmet right there. This is obviously a DK because of the helmet. Helmet right there is from the uh, Mythic HFC War uh, DK set. Shoulders there and also the gloves and also the legs there all come from the, uh, what's that? Oh, and the chest piece too, I think. Uh, it's hard really to tell. And the chest piece, all that comes from the ICC 25-man, uh, wait. Yeah, ICC 25-man DK set. Uh, belt obviously comes from the HFC uh, Mythic set too. And uh, the gloves there come from the Warrior uh, Nighthold set. And what weapon is this? This isn't what I think it is, is it? What were you thinking? 
what was your what was your opinion like what why did you decide to go with the uh with the obsidian edge blade He just doesn't give a fuck. This guy looks like a god because it's classic. Yep. It sure is. All right, let's go to the next one. Makes sense. Endure, Lady of War. Cataclysm, uh, what is this? Okay, all right, so you've got, wait, is this what I think it is? Is this the heroic? Is this the elite cataclysmic gladiator shield wall? Uh, I don't know if it is or not, but if that is, that's, that's very... Yeah, season 11 elite. Holy shit. Yeah, I hardly ever fucking see that. Okay, regardless, let me look at the rest of the pieces here. Okay, so you got the Orgrimmar harness again. All the rest of the pieces are pretty much, I think, a full set from Warlord's Draenor. It's like a... Uh, is that the garrison set? Let me go ahead and inspect it and see. Uh, Orgrimmar glove. No, it's the Orgrimmar set. Yeah, that's the garrison set. Wait, this is a full set. This is, this is a full set. Now he thinks he's going to redeem himself with the elite cat cataclysmic gladiator shield wall. And he almost did. He almost did. But you know what? We're not going to let that happen. We're not going to let somebody come in here with a mediocre set, a mediocre full fucking set, and then act like he owns the place just because he got 2200 10 years ago. Not gonna happen, Endure. Nice try, but we gotta, you gotta come in here with some better pieces of gear besides a full fucking set. You're literally wearing a full set, dude. Literally a full set. And I thought my set was bad. Yeah, Duffer, you look great now. What the fuck is this? Fuck is this stupid ass shit? The Iron Horde Saber from Mythic Blackhand. What's this shield right here? That shield's from Oldowar. The shoulders there from Mythic Hellfire Citadel. Uh, the belt there from, uh, belt is from Burning, sorry, not Burning, is it Mr. Pandaria five-man dungeon, so it's a DPS set. The leggings there drop from, uh, I think those are the leggings of the Shattered Hand, or leggings of Shattered Hall, whatever the fuck they are. Yeah, that's a BOE level 70 epic gear. Uh, it's a blue item, it's a, uh, pair of, uh, fucking leggings. Uh, the gloves are from a Burning Crusade five-man dungeon. Helmet is obviously the Shadow Pan helmet. So this is what you like to call dog shit. This is what straight up fucking a hundred percent dog shit nobody likes this set littles not a single person likes it and you know why they don't like it because it's not good that's why they don't like it littles this is probably one of the worst sets i've seen in a long time i want you to really know that i want you to understand how bad this set is like, this isn't just, like, a normally bad set. This is advanced bad. And the reason why it's advanced bad is because of the weapon. The weapon is what really kills your set. The weapon is completely off-color theme. It's completely off of the theme in terms of the design. Everything about it is off-theme. And it just doesn't make any sense with your armor. It's not that bad. Yeah, you're right. It's a four. No, no, it's a three and a half. Compact Disc, The Proven Healer, from the guild Michael Scott Paper Co. Hmm. Okay. Alright, that staff, I believe, drops from Terran Gorfiend and Black Temple. Am I right about that? Staff on Immaculate Recovery? Yes, that's from Terran Gorfiend and Black Temple. The helmet there is obviously the offset priest helmet that you're able to get in Black Temple as well. The shoulders come from, uh, I think, also Black Temple. Uh, this, this isn't the staff I want, though. What staff do you want? What staff do you want? Gertog Bubboil? Wait, what did I say? Did I say Terran Gorfiend? Yeah, yeah, it's Gertog. I don't know why I said Terran, Terran Gorfiend. Uh, I, I know for a fact it's fucking Gort. I don't know why I said that. Uh, I was, I'm, I'm very dyslexic today. I don't know what it is to, about me today, but I'm very, very jumbled in my mind. Trying to get Phoenix Fire staff. Ah. Uh, you know what, man? I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I, I don't even think that this is an upgrade. I actually don't think this staff is an upgrade over the one that you have. Uh, I think this... No, no. Wait, oh, that one? The Mythic version. 
Uh, I guess that one looks kind of cool, but I really like the staff that you're using now. That's the LFR version. Okay, I see. I was gonna get some weed. No, it's just that sometimes I, uh, uh I don't know, like, it, it's weird because I, like, I outthink my speech, and uh, I don't know, like, it, it's, I, I can't explain it. Regardless, it doesn't matter. Um, I think this set is, like, a mediocre preset. You know what it's like? It's, like, priest tier five and a half. It's not really priest tier four or priest tier five. It's not really priest tier six. It's kind of in between. And I think if you did a better job with your chess piece, the rest of these pieces would fit together pretty well. But for the most part, I think everything else is kind of okay. But the chess piece is just way too low res for everything else to work and make sense. Yeah, not really a lot of imagination with it. Jack O'Mac, the faceless one from the guild haunted by Murlocs. Obviously, the Maghar orc with the gloves right there from Oldowar. And uh, the belt right there from the uh, mythic uh, DK tier, uh, whatever the fuck the first tier of Warlords of Draenor was. Uh, the leggings right there from uh, Tumor Sargeras for DKs. The gloves there, sorry, the boots there from also Oldowar for DKs. The helmet from the Dragon Soul set for DKs. And the weapons there from Hellfire Citadel, Hellfire High Council. Actually... No, that coloration is actually a BOE coloration that dropped from something. Yeah, isn't that? Yeah, Decapitator of Oisria, that's a BOE version. It's a recolor that is an item all 350 BOE item that drops in uh, fucking Battle of Azeroth. This is really good. This is actually really, really good. Um, Holy shit. We are all Akunda. I don't know who Akunda is, but I do think this set looks great. Like, uh, wait, you guys really don't like this? I think this is badass. Like, what the fuck do you guys mean? Like, this is really cool. Are you guys crazy? It's boring? Are you kidding me? You think this set is boring? I don't know what to say. I don't know what to tell you guys. Uh, I, don't e I don't even know who you guys are. I think this set looks really, really nice, okay? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry, Akunda. The chat does not understand your theme. And I, I, I can understand why they don't get it. But I don't think that it's acceptable for them to be as negative as they are right now. I like this set a lot. I think that the, uh, uh, the juxtaposition with, like, the fucking the dark chest piece and then, like, the, the bone armor. I, I don't know. I think everything about this looks really, really nice, okay? But overall... I guess the chat doesn't like it. We'll move on. Is the theme boring? No, I don't think the theme's boring, okay? Listen, dude. I will never get tired of looking at armor with skulls and spikes on it, alright? Thanatu the Undaunted. You know what it looks like you did? You look like somebody who doesn't raid in Warlords of Draenor, and all you do is the quests in Tanan Jungle. So you're using the stupid-ass helmet right there that comes from the mythic uh, Blackrock Foundry Druid set, which I think does make sense. The weapon there is obviously the coolest thing. Now, what weapon is that? That's obviously the sword that drops from uh, whatever the last boss is in Sunken Temple. Um, I forgot what his name is. It's called, uh, what is the sword called? Dragon's Call. It's Dragon's Call from uh, Ecranius and Sunken Temple. And then all the rest of the pieces besides his shoulder are pretty much all the ZG and ZF gear. Sorry, yeah, it's Z, no, ZA. ZA gear as well. Acranus? Yeah, exactly. And uh, the shoulders are actually from Tanan Jungle. But because everything was green, I just kind of felt like it all was. Uh, I don't know, guys. Uh... Loki? This guy's really like Loki? Are you saying he's like Loki because of the helmet? Because that's literally the only thing that would make it... Wait, why is everybody forced to, to dance? What is this? Oh, it's the photobomb thing. Okay, all right. So now he has to dance. Like, this guy is actually forced to dance. He can't stop dancing. <laughs> oh, my God. The fucking... Wait, the party totem. Well, Sinister, take it off. It's annoying. Sinister, take it off. Yeah, you get, get rid of it, man. He says, I don't know how to. Yeah, don't do stuff like that. It messes up people's turns. Yeah, uh, l let's make sure that we get a chance to do it. Okay, uh, let's see. Thantu the Undaunted. Could be better, could be worse. I think overall this is a unique set. 
I really like. So what I like the most about this set is he's obviously a demon hunter. So his horns are coming through the helmet there. And he's actually got a bunch of fucking helmet horns all coming out at the same time. Like if you attack this guy from the top, you would fucking die. Okay. And I think that's pretty cool. Everything besides that is kind of mediocre. The weapons are mediocre. Everything else is just, uh, it's whatever to me. Uh, that's what I think. It's just all right. Uh, the other items are pretty, pretty low res too. What is this here? Nazchar Honor Guard. Um. Wait, really? You thought of that entrance just so you could wear this? You're wearing benthic legs and benthic boots? With the two hammers, one of them from heroic, the other one from normal mode in old deer? With the shoulders from world quests in Xandalar? With the tabard of the protector that hasn't been impressive for over 10 years? Relo. This set is terrible. Like, this is actually... I, I really think this is the worst set that we've seen so far. And I don't want to say that lightly. I really want you to know this. This is the worst set that we've seen in the entire competition. This is a complete joke. Nothing about it makes sense. Get that fish out of here. Um, nothing about it makes sense. Nightwing or Tabard? I know what it is. It's the Tabard of the, of the of fucking... Is it Tabard of Vector or Tabard of the Lightbringer? What is it again? Tabard of the Lightbringer. It's from the fucking Shadowmorn quest line. Regardless, it looks like shit and it doesn't match anything. Now, I saw that what you were trying to do. You were trying to go with the double color theme with like gold and blue. But what you ended up doing is matching neither because there's nothing that's going to match a fucking... Look at this weapon right here. Look, look at this weapon. Was this crafted by a fucking troll that puts feathers and shit on their shoulders? Fuck no. This was crafted by a goddamn robot. And it's used by a robot. Because it's robotic. It's even got gears on it. It doesn't make sense. This just doesn't look good, man. It doesn't look good. This is the worst set that I've seen so far in the entire competition. And that's saying something. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You better not. Don't you dance. You don't get to celebrate after that. Looks like shit. Okay. Fire Lord Sinister. Obviously using the store helmet as well. Uh, the, yeah, there you go. There you go. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go farm out another set. We don't have time for your bullshit again. All right, so obviously the uh, chest piece there comes from the uh, Blood Elf Heritage Armor, same with the belt. Uh, the cloak here is from, I believe, Antorus. I think that comes from Agamar, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Uh, and um, where, where are the weapons? What's the weapon? Sword from Hellfire High Council and Hellfire Citadel. It's orange. That means that it's also... Uh, what is the orange one? Uh, normal mode, I believe. I think that's normal mode. It could be heroic. I'm not sure. I think it's normal. Uh, Blazing Demon Hilt Sword. Yeah, I think it's normal. Uh, I don't know, guys. Like, what do you guys think about this one? I, this is okay. I would say it's a solid... That's not a Roomba. Okay, that's not a fucking Roomba. Uh, I don't like the shield. I don't like the shield at all. Because the shield is a Draenei Relic. And you have literally the Blood Elf Heritage Armor. That's cultural appropriation. And that's wrong. I don't know that. Now you do. And you're canceled. Go to the next one. Morgrand, the savage hero from the guild Darkstone. The Jawbreaker. That's a weapon that drops from Maxine on 25-man uh, Naxxramas. For the, uh, the, the fucking 80 version. All of the rest of your pieces come from the ZG, or sorry, ZA, I keep fucking that up, the ZA set, except for your belt, which is a quest reward for random plate gear in Legion. The shoulders drop from Freehold, it's an Azerite piece, obviously, since it's shoulders. And let's look at these boots right here. Let's take a good look at these boots right here. Do you know what these boots are from? A quest reward. And do you know where the quest is from? The first three zones in the game. See, he thought I wouldn't see his shitty little boots back there. Cliff running boots. 
Let's look and find out where cliff running boots come from. Let, let's find out about these, uh, these cliff running boots. Wild Main Cleansing. This is a level one quest. This is for cleansing the fucking well inside of Mulgore. You don't get more basic than these fucking boots. Cliff running boots. You know what the funny thing about this is, more grand. He should use them to run off a cliff? Yeah, listen, I probably should. Even if you were wearing good boots, this set would still be dog shit. Because it's basically a full set, minus the belt and shoulders. I, I feel like maybe it would be okay if you had really, really good boots. But even if it wasn't, even if it wasn't bad boots, it would still not win. It fits? No, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit at all. It looks like dog shit. It looks like weird fucking socks that are dirty that he's wearing, and he's got them all the way up to his goddamn ankles. It's weird as hell, and nobody likes it. And the shoulders don't make a whole lot of sense either, because they're so, uh, they're so high res, it makes everything else look like shit. Yeah, it's almost a full set. It's a full set minus, like, two items. And the third item, it makes it even worse, alright? It's terrible. It is absolutely fucking terrible. Let's go to the next one. Raptor X of the Horde. I actually like this. Like, I, I genuinely think this is a good set. This is actually a good set. I, I don't like to say this about Blood Elf females, especially whenever they're pretending to be warriors, which they're obviously not. But listen, you got the weapons right there. Those are the black hand weapons. Everybody knows about that. That chest piece right there, that's one of the uh, iconic fucking, you know, plate chest pieces. I think that dropped in uh, Wrath of the Witch King. I don't really remember. That belt right there. What is that belt? That is the uh, Forsaken... Uh, the Darkshore Warfront Elite Belt for Horde. And the gloves and the boots there are from the Juggernaut set that comes from Antorus. The leggings there are from... Uh, I think they're from the Garrison set. Let me go ahead and double check. Blackrock leggings, yep, Garrison set. I think this is really good. It's a wad chest, really? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Rivet Sealed Breastplate. That's a, that's a five-man quest reward. Or sorry, not quest reward. That's a five-man dungeon reward. Fuck, I didn't even know that. Holy shit. Wow. Okay. Let's see. This looks great. Yeah, I think this actually does look really good. What do you guys think? Yeah, what, what do you guys think? Yeah, casual? No, I, I thought it wasn't. Uh, I thought it was another chess piece, actually. Hmm. Hot as fuck. Yeah, it's just like a female blacksmith or something like that. I like this a lot. And, uh, yeah, chest needs to be something bulkier? No, I don't think so at all. Because it's like, obviously, it's kind of like a blacksmith-type transmog. Or like a metalworking transmog. And I feel like that fits really well with, obviously, the, uh, the black hand weapons and uh, everything else that goes with it. Uh, this looks really, really good. Boots are ugly? No, they're not. I think the boots and the gloves look really good. Powerful Fame Slayer of Nazoth from the Guild Vodka. Apparently spent all of his time on killing Nizoth and none of it on coming up with a unique transmog. But that's okay. He's The only way this transmog is going to redeem itself is if these hammers are Might of Minithal and not the Demise weapons. Nope. Nope. This is obviously the full Dreadnought set. He's even transmogged his bracers. Very impressive. This is what you like to call a warrior with a lot of money. Azeroth's champion. Well, you're not going to be the transmog champion. So who's really the winner here? You're out of your element. Okay? This is a full tier 3 set with the Tabard of the Lightbringer from the Shadowmorn questline with the hammers that come from Naxxramas back in the day or Demise that drops from, I believe, he can the Unclean on 10-man Naxxramas. We have seen this set, we have seen this shit, so many fucking times. I am tired of seeing this shit. Looks like shit? Yeah, I think it does. 
I'm not a fan of it. I don't like it. It looks like dog shit. Let's go ahead and look at the next one. Uh, we're not going to let that happen. All right, let's go ahead and check the look at this one out. Bix Nude? I'm surprised to let you have that name. Wow. Uh, that That's like... That's a super, super old meme. Holy shit, that's an old meme. What was that from, like 2004? Yeah, that was a long fucking time ago. God damn. Okay, that's like... Yeah, a lot of people... Yeah, 2000... Yeah, that was a long time ago. Uh, look it up. Yeah, it's a long, long time ago. Anyway, we got this. All right, so the helmet right there comes from Dragon Soul uh, LFR set. The shoulders there from the uh, Wards of Draenor uh, pre-raid set and also the LFR set. The gloves there come from, I think those are just like random also. I think that's those are the exalted gloves. It's a uh, random BOE item that comes from uh, Vanilla WoW. The belt there comes from Questing and Legion. The leggings are... I have no fucking idea. Uh, honestly, like they're so fucking small, I have no idea. And then the weapons here... He's got the weapon that I want. Yeah, I see how it is, dude. I see how it is. Those weapons come from normal mode old deer. I believe they drop from uh It's the the big guy. The big guy that we killed today. Uh it's like the where he goes into different phases and shit. Oh old deer. I, I think of the name. He's like the big courage guy. Uh not Bane. Yeah, the big big guy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um Zekvoss. Zekvoss. Uh no, it's not uh it's Zekvoss. Yeah. Uh Mithrax drops the sword. Uh Talok drops the hammer. Uh, Zekvog drops the, uh, the pole arm, okay? Uh, this set is, in my opinion, also the Tavern of the Lightbringer. This set's dog shit. Like, honestly, dude, this set's as outdated as that meme is. It's, it's just dog shit. Doesn't really make a lot of sense. The colors don't fit together very well. Just because there's gold in all of the pieces. No, it is. It's dog shit. Like, what are you guys, are you kidding me? This sucks. Look at the legs. Do the legs match at all? Fuck no. The boots are just some random piece of shit boots that make no sense at all. The, the helmet and the shoulders kind of work together. The tabard is completely different theme than the helmet and the shoulders. Like, the tabard is some fucking, like, whiteborn bullshit where they've got all the stuff that's, like, really well crafted and... Yeah, get mad all you want. Your set sucks dick. It's terrible. And everybody knows it. You guys have no idea what you're talking about. Fire Lord Munishu from the Guild Imperial Guard. Hmm. I don't know, man. Uh. I don't know. I think it sucks. I I think it I I do think it sucks. I think it almost is good, but I think it sucks. It's dead because of you. Yeah, this is a mediocre set. The best part about this set is the fact that he's using the weapons right there, and those weapons come from the Legion invasions in Broken Isles. Uh, the belt right there comes from the Class Order Hall for Warriors. The belt, or sorry, the gloves, the shoulders, and the boots there all are, I believe, the PvP Vindictive Gladiator set that comes from the first season of Legion. Let me go ahead and see if I was right about that. Fearless Gladiator, it was the same fucking thing, and uh, it's a re uh, reskin, basically. And uh, the chest piece there comes from, I believe, Najatar. It's one of the uh, benthic chest pieces. And I don't know, man. Like, I almost think, like, this set, like, the colors are very unique. I, I very, very rarely see colors that look like this. And I would say that's definitely impressive because I don't see a lot of things that look similar. To me, personally, whenever I'm looking around and I'm trying to find something that's good, I think what actually makes sense and what actually looks good. I don't know, man. A boring? You guys still, you guys think this one's boring too? Really? Okay. It's okay. It's okay, Munishu, but it could be a lot better. Yeah, it could be a lot better. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. The unrelenting on anything. Erudite. I kind of like this. I, I actually kind of like this set. So the helmet right there is one of the helmets you can get from the different uh, the different visions. The weapons there are the uh, artifact weapons, as you guys can see. 
And the boots there come from Trial of Hour. That's the chosen dead set. Same with the belt. Those shoulders there are from, I think those are separate from the shoulders, but I know they're tier, tier 11 uh, druid so shoulders. Tabard is the Tabard of the Kieran Tor from back in the day. The only thing that I don't really like about this is that there's so many separate themes that are going on simultaneously. So for example, you've got the, uh, the shoulders here that have feathers on them. You have the old god daggers with the old god helmet. You have the Kirin Tor chest piece, which is the tabard. And then you have the Odin set, which is the belt and also the gloves or the boots. This is, a, yeah, it's just, it's too many different purples. It's just, it's too many different themes. I feel like things like this, whenever you go with different themes, it just doesn't really make a lot of sense. I don't like that. And I think that's a big problem. Shoulders are fucking horrible. He just searched purple on Mogget. You know what? That's pretty much it. You say about 5 million words per stream and run the risk of losing your voice. Well, at least I haven't looked at my fashions. Uh, fuck, man! I can't talk today! I'm so... This is embarrassing. If I try to roast somebody and I slur my words, I look like an idiot! Shit! God, I'm slurring my words so bad today. It's embarrassing. Yeah, I'm, I'm having, I'm not, I'm not doing it today. I'm, I'm fucking, I cannot talk today at all. Hmm. I can't talk slowly. I can only talk at one rate. I talk at the fast rate or the slow rate. I don't go in between. What is this one here? Oh yeah, this set, not good. This is what I would say is just a mediocre, weird set. Yeah, it's a mediocre, weird set. You talk too much anyway, we're all here for the gameplay. Listen. If people were here for the WoW gameplay, my stream would be dead. My stream would be fucking dead. And that's the truth. Like, nobody, wa nobody watches me for gameplay. Because I suck at the game. Like, I'm bad at- I'm, I, I unironically suck at the game I've played for 15 years. I, I might be better than average, right? But like, that- what does that mean? Like, after you spent like over a decade doing it. Like, yeah, it, it's awful. But people watch because it's entertaining. Like, that's the only reason they watch. Alright, Skelehead. Now, at the beginning of the tournament, I actually looked at your set and you were wearing a different set. And after seeing everybody else get roasted, you've changed your set slightly because you're worried about getting roasted. Now, what I want you to know is that what you've done will not affect that outcome. You're still going to get roasted because your stat still sucks. So let's look at what we've got here. I changed my enchants. You also changed your chest piece. So that chest piece and the leggings there come from Heroic Trial of Hour, Mythic Trial of Hour, excuse me. That's the Chosen Dead set. The boots there and then also, yeah, just the boots there come from the uh, Hellfire Citadel Paladin set. The belt there, I believe, comes from... That belt is from Tier 14 Paladin set, Mender's Girdle of the Endless Spring, which drops from, uh, I think, Protectors of the Endless or somewhere in, tri in uh, Terrace of the Endless Spring, uh, which is a Paladin offset item. The gloves and the shoulders are the pre-expansion, or sorry, uh, pre-order uh, Shadowlands expansion set. And then the helmet there, is it purple at the, at the back? Yeah, purple helmet means it's from Mythic, uh, Mythic Emerald Nightmare. Mythic Emerald Nightmare for Paladins. And let's see what the weapons are. Ooh, wow. Look at those weapons. Those come from uh, Siege of Orgamar. Let me read the name. Foils of Pandaria. Foils of Pandaria. Listen, man. I know you've tried to become a cosmic champion. And, is it Nourishin? Wait, is it Nourishin? No fucking way it's Nourishin. No fucking way. I think you might be right, but I thought Nourishin dropped a dagger. Ban him. Ban him. Ban that stupid idiot. Uh, I, I don't want to, I don't want to hear that. Okay, listen, dude. Like, I farmed that raid for over a year. You think I'm not going to remember what boss that shit dropped from? Fuck no. Get him out of here. I don't want to hear that. I've gotten enough wrong on my own without people telling me that I'm getting ones wrong that I'm not getting wrong. You had to look? Yeah, just to show everybody else. Listen, I knew what it was. 
I, I farmed that fucking. That was one of the last items I needed from the from the raid. That's how I know that, because I had to farm that over and over and over. It fucking annoyed the shit out of me. L listen, this set sucks. This set sucks, man. Uh, I feel like if you want to go for like a Titan Keeper or something like that, the first thing you need to do is change your race. Like undead can't be Titan Keepers. That's like having a that's like having a rat that's the CEO of a company. It doesn't make sense. It looks dumb as fuck. How are you gonna have a rat in a suit? How's a rat gonna do cocaine? Doesn't make any sense. I see what you tried to do, but you have to do it as a different race. Yeah, literal, literal racism here, guys. Alright, now let's go ahead. We've seen everybody. Let's look at our losers and let's find our winners. Tell me what you guys like, tell me what you don't like. Rat doing cocaine? Yes. We've got a lot of really, really good sets here. Can you check the pet, please? It's not the same before, I swear. Cool. I don't speak Spanish, so I don't know what that means. Okay, you changed your set. You changed your chest piece and your gloves from the Cataclysm green items to the uh, ICC 25-man normal warrior set. You know the funny thing about this, your charge? Is this is even worse. People can't get other items. Yeah, it's even worse. Come on. Jack Pent. Oh, come on. Yeah, cool. You have the pet. I have the pet too. It's not a big deal. What do you guys like? It's going to be kind of hard for me to pick out what I like the most, honestly, guys. Uh, it is. Uh, I don't know, really, like... Like, I, I've got a top three, but I don't really know. There are a few people that I think should be in there, but they might not make it. Ah. Uh... Hmm. This is a really hard decision for me to make. The Bone Druid? No, I don't think so. Uh, I'm not gonna not gonna go with him. I don't think it's all. It's okay, but it's not really that amazing. In the top five, he'd probably get a place, you know. Okay. All right, I'll go ahead. I'll take the. Uh, I'll ch I'll take chat suggestions. What do you guys think? Before we uh, before I go ahead and I make my decisions. All right. This is going to be a very, very hard decision for me to make. I'm going to do my best. And hopefully, I'll be able to give the most ethical answer and the fairest shake possible to these people. Third place. Third place is going to go third place. Third place is going to go to kill the Kingslayer. This is an incredible set. Everything about this fits together very, very well. And I would say that the top three are pretty much all on the same level with each other. Uh, maybe number one is a little bit better, but that could also just be my personal bias. So we'll see, okay? This is an incredible set. The pieces fit so well together. Uh, this is exactly what I would expect to see out of an undead rogue. An undead rogue pirate. Good job. Kill, you're going to get the skull. Second place. Second place. Hmm. I'm looking around. Stupid idiot. You're so stupid. You're set so bad and you just don't even know it. So bad. 
second place is going to go to Bogdan the Goat Fucker. It's going to go to Bogdan the Goat Fucker. This is an incredible set. I love it. I think that everything about this fits together very well. And this is absolutely something that deserves second place. I love this set. It's awful? No, it's not awful. It fits together perfectly well. All of the colors are cleanly fitting together. There are no weird pixels. There's no weird problems. Everything about this is perfectly clean and it matches incredibly well. You're using multiple different sets that fit together as well as a weapon that also fits with the armor. The color theme is exactly the same and it's very hard to meet this same shade of blue. But he was able to do that. And I feel like this is very clearly, very obviously, second place. Okay? That's all there is to it. It's trash? Well, what do you mean? It, uh, all right, well, I'll let you guys th tell me what you think is good. All right, after this. First place. First place. I mean, come on. First place is going to go to Chromag. First place is obviously going to go to Chromag. This is an incredibly badass set. Yes, I am a little bit biased because I am a warrior and I'm seeing another really badass warrior set. You're absolutely right. But you know what? This is my transmog competition and I'm going to give this guy number one. Like, this is absolutely a 100% number one best transmog. I like this one a lot. It looks fucking incredible. I love it. It's great. The comp is not rigged. It is, guys, listen, guys, it is not rigged. I know some people believe that, oh, yeah, Asmund's rigging the competition. I would never do that, number one. Number two, I'm not doing that. So anybody that thinks that is fucking lying. Uh, I am not rigging the competition. I have never rigged a competition before. 